Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 2 of the giant conger eel video. For those who are squeamish and don't want to see any blood and guts, please skip to the 2 minute mark of this video. By the time I got back it was really late and dark and both of my cameras had died unfortunately and I only had my phone left to record this. But as you can see I started prepping the fish, gutting and removing any unwanted parts from inside it. The stomach of the conger was absolutely full with some kind of fish. I wouldn't recommend doing this as the smell isn't very nice and will probably put you off eating the fish, but I'm always interested to find out what they've been eating as I'm into my fishing and enjoy knowing what baits to use for different fish. I'm aware you can't see it very well here, but there's two whole, or should I say slightly decomposed bass inside of the stomach. Personally, not what I was expecting at all, but very interesting to say the least. Conga is very easy to prep. Once it's been gutted and cleaned out, all you've got to do is cut the fish into steaks. It's a very simple process and just repeat this for the entire length of the fish. So as promised in the last video, I'm going to reveal the competition winner. There was a load of really good comments, uh, varying from crabs, lobsters, cuttlefish, octopus, pouting, pollock, wrasse, pretty much every species that there is uh, kicking around in the UK people mentioned in the comments, so I appreciate everyone uh, taking part in it. But there was one winner, his name was Marius underscore SA, uh, that's his YouTube name, I'm guessing his first name is Marius, and his comment was, I'm guessing that there was two whole sea bass in the conger eel's stomach, brackets guess. Um, it was a very good guess, well done, uh, you did guess it right, so you got the choice between a bottle of red wine or two spearfishing rigging lines, uh, which I can send out to you, so all you've got to do is just get in touch with me. Uh, and I'll send them out. And now we'll move on to the cooking part of the video. I've made a butter, parsley and garlic paste which I'm going to put onto the steak. Just cover this as best you can. It's going to be turned over so it doesn't really matter if you know it's not fully covered. Flavour. What I'm going to do then is all the juices that run off the fish and collect into the, uh, the tin foil tray underneath. I'm then going to use for the sauce. Uh, afterwards. So I'll leave them in there for five minutes and come back to them in a minute. See the fish is cooking away really nicely in there. Yeah, I've got the parsley and the garlic on top. And it's just starting to brown off as well so it's looking very good. dig in. So it's not my first time eating this, I've actually smoked one before but it's nice. Imagine what lobster tails like with the different different strands of meat. It's exactly the same as that. Um, and it's all, almost quite like pork like or chicken like. But it's really good. You know, if you do see them knocking around, they're not as bad as what people make them out to be. They can be a bit daunting, obviously, because they live in holes and they look quite alien-like, but if you like seafood and you want to try something different, it's a great, uh, it's a great opportunity to do so. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I hope to see you all on the next video.